here I am just drawing another sketch from another show. Uh, this show that I started is called Stitchers. Uh, and I was not very impressed by the opening scene. The graphics look really, really bad. It looks like something that was made in the early 2000s or something. While this, let's see when it was made. 2015? Oh gosh. I don't know and the dialogue isn't really that great and the main character they're trying to sell her as a tough I guess they're trying to sell her as a tough chick but she just comes off as kind of whiny I haven't even gotten more than five minutes in I don't think nope I'm at the four minute mark and I'm like not impressed so I've been kind of skipping out the plot of the show is supposedly they can stitch memories into somebody else's mind and you can see or they can see the crime that happened or I guess it's kind of like that I zombie show that was on for a while where she could eat the person's brain and then she'd be able to see a couple of the flashes of their life but I don't know I the setup of the other show was a lot better than this one I think it is I think this is some kind of scientific process where they maybe if I watch the show I'd know more about it but it's already hard to get to and it's only get through and it's only four minutes in oh but here I am I'm drawn with a um, stabilo pen and this is the point sixty something size I think that's the smallest fine tip that they have and then later I'll be using the marker or the fatter size tip of the Stabilo marker in order to put in dark areas and I use the watercolor to wash it out. After drawing this scene I realized it would have been better if I had put the characters on an angle because this kind of flat uh, character illustration isn't very good for if you want to present it to people you you're trying to illustrate books to I guess because it's so flat this is like the kind of staging they would have for television so you can see all of the characters and the dead body that's there but it's not exactly how you would draw it for an illustration you would you would put the characters on an angle to give it more drama like maybe you would tilt it to the side and like have the camera situated sort of behind the male figure in the suit jacket and you can still glimpse the person's head that's laying on the morgue tray or whatever you call that and then you would be able to see the female character kind of off to the side of that maybe I'll throw in a sketch of that later so you'll see what I'm talking about like how the layering and the overlap would create more visual drama than just these three characters sitting flatly on this picture plane here I'm using a Durant water brush or aqua brush where you just fill it up with water and then you can just, you know, use it as any kind of watercolor brush except you don't have to keep dipping it into the, the liquid tank as I call my water pots. The color blends out really nicely. I love using these preferably to watercolor because I just don't feel like I have as much control over watercolor as I do when using these markers. I used to have more control over watercolor when I practiced it more but it's been a couple of years since the last time I spent a lot of time with watercolor. might end up going back and like at least finishing the first episode I like to give shows at least that much of much of a chance with the books I'll give them up to three chapters with shows I'll give them one episode to see if there's something to hook me in I don't know if I'll be able to get past the graphics in this show though I mean I can watch an older show and if it has poor graphics and good character good storyline good writing i can i can enjoy it but i don't know this one just 
Doesn't seem like it's going to have any of those things. The size of the larger Stabilo marker is a point eighty-eight. It's fairly inexpensive for a package of twenty-two of them. Yeah, fairly inexpensive. I think it cost me about eighteen dollars, maybe or less. I don't know. I don't remember. I got them off Amazon. The fine point ones were around the same price. They're point sixty eight. I regret it thrown in the dark background once I had it in there. I think it would have been better if I would have left just the door black, that part at the foot of the dead person on the morgue table. I feel like it would have looked a lot better if I just left that black and the rest of it white so that there would have been more contrast, would have been like a place for emphasis. But now uh, I feel like the characters are kind of getting, maybe they're getting swallowed by the darkness. I don't know. Or maybe I should have just brought the black in around the girl's head and not left the light because I was going to draw the entire background, but I decided just to draw the light next to the female figure's head. And now I realize that the angle of the light paired with her head and then just left white is not a good, it's not a good look. 